everyone, and welcome back to another episode of French Horn Masterclass. Today we're going to be talking about how to continue playing after you first get your braces on. Let's get started. First, keep in mind that to get used to playing again, there will be an adjustment period of a few weeks, but if you're practicing regularly, you will soon be able to play everything you could play before. Remember that it's okay to start slowly and only play for a short time, like 10 minutes on your first day with braces on, but gradually increase your practice time each day to 15, 20, 25 minutes, etc. each day as you get used to the new feeling. My next piece of advice isn't related to horn directly, but will still help you out a lot in the long run, and that's to follow the guidelines given to you by your orthodontist. For example, I know you're not supposed to chew gum or eat caramel, so don't chew gum or eat caramel. Remember to brush your teeth carefully and floss. I never flossed my teeth when I was a kid, but I did when I had braces. I went all out and I used the special floss for between your teeth that has the thicker material for between the wires, and I mostly didn't need anything I wasn't supposed to. But I bring this up because since I took such good care of my teeth and braces, I actually got to get them taken off ahead of the predicted schedule, which was nice and your band directors will love you forever if this happens. Adjusting to braces can be frustrating at first, but we can look at it optimistically and say that having braces can actually turn into a great way to train yourself to use more air and less mouthpiece pressure. Pressing the mouthpiece into your face is obviously never an efficient way to play the horn, and with braces, putting weight on the lips, especially the top lip, can be detrimental to making a good sound at best, and even painful at worst. So your new motto is more air, less face, or some variation of that for everything you play. Let's talk about the top lip. If you've already been adhering to the recommended ratio of two-thirds upper lip, one-third lower lip in the mouthpiece, the top brackets should easily fit inside the mouthpiece. Just be careful to not push the weight of the horn onto the top lip and anchor the lead pipe angle onto the bottom lip. Now let's talk about the bottom lip, which can be more of a challenge to handle at first. What we do with our bottom brackets is going to depend on where the braces are in relation to your teeth and the size of your mouthpiece. If the brackets are high enough on your bottom teeth and your mouthpiece is wide enough that you can fit both sets of brackets into the mouthpiece, then great. What I've noticed with braces trends lately is that orthodontists are starting to place bottom brackets lower on the teeth and closer to the gums. Plus, a lot of popular middle school mouthpieces like the Farkas MC and MDC are actually quite small in the grand scheme of mouthpiece diameters. This is going to make it more difficult to fit both sets of brackets in the mouthpiece. If that's the case, still have the top set of brackets in the mouthpiece and the bottom brackets outside the mouthpiece and line the edge of the bottom rim up with the spot where the skin meets the bottom lip as best as you can. I would hope this would go without saying, but just in case, let me officially say that it's not going to be in your best interest to ever have the top brackets or bottom brackets be pushing against the rim. To demonstrate all this, I don't have braces anymore myself, but I do somehow still have my old retainer that I haven't worn in almost multiple decades at this point. So in solidarity with you, I'm going to play some notes with my old retainer in, and as we get the embouchure ready, you can follow along and then play along. So here's my bite. Remember that the last time I wore these, there were only five Star Wars movies, so you know, ow. The top retainer is actually still a good indicator of where your top brackets will be. With my bottom wire where it is, I would still be able to fit both sets of the brackets in the mouthpiece, so that's what I'm going to do. What I want to show you is that your brackets might be lower on your teeth, so you can let the mouthpiece sit above them and line the bottom lip up with the top of your bottom teeth and where the skin meets the lip. So find your top brackets and make sure they go inside the mouthpiece rim. Then find your bottom brackets and decide if they're going to go inside or outside of the rim. I'm going to make my bird's beak shape embouchure, make sure my mouthpiece angle is not pushing on my top lip and anchored on my bottom lip, and that I still have two thirds of the mouthpiece on my upper lip and one third on my bottom lip. And look at that beautiful lead pipe angle and we're ready to go. Start by playing the most comfortable, middle-of-the-range notes you can think of, like G. Start by using more air than you normally would to play this note. This isn't going to be what actually happens, but imagine blowing so much air your lips blow away from your face and away from the brackets. Let the air do the work for you. 
comfortable with your new setting, slowly and carefully start expanding the range lower and higher from there. For example, let's do the Remington going down, then going up. If at any point you feel your sound getting tight and your lips getting crushed, make sure you're still puckering your lips enough to bring them forward in the mouthpiece and away from the braces, and that you're using enough air to keep them from flattening out. Remember that it's okay to take your time and adjust slowly in the beginning, especially with higher notes. With some gradual practice and patience, you'll be just fine and you'll be able to play everything you could play before and more. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. And that's why I did voiceover for myself during the second part of the video. Make sure to check out my other videos. I have some more masterclass videos like this one dedicated to certain topics or etudes. And let me know in the comments if there are other topics you'd like to see in a masterclass video. I also have some other fun horn plus other instrument arrangements on my channel and some festive holiday content coming up soon. I put out new videos on Tuesdays, so be on the lookout for what's coming next. Have a great week and see you next time.